welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute tiered tray using the little wooden trays from Dollar Tree and a few other supplies. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Alrighty y'all, let us get started. So first off, what you are going to need, three of these little trays that come from Dollar Tree. Now they do have a few different designs. Um, some like with the handles that are like just oblong this way and this one just happens to be a heart but whatever type of tray you decide to use, just make sure that the handle parts are straight up and down, that they're not tapered or angled in any way. These need to be straight up and down like that. So I have three of those. Oh, Lordy, I have three of those. And then I have some of these five gallon stir sticks. Now these are paint stir sticks. You see the handle here? paint stir sticks and I got these at Walmart and I swear off the top of my head I can't remember how much this was goodness can't remember how much this was but they come three in a pack these are a lot larger and sturdier than the regular paint stir sticks and for this project you're only going to be using two of those we're going to throw that in the floor for the paint I'm going to be using this two times ultra cover paint and primer this is a satin finish in the color aqua I also got this from Walmart. But anyway, what we're going to do is basically be gluing these little trays to our stir sticks. Now, I have already cut the ends off of these to make them flat, okay? Because you saw how the handles were angled, and I don't like that. Just screams, hey, I'm using a stir stick here. So I cut that off of my scroll saw. Um, these aren't very thick. You know, the scroll saw did it, didn't have to fire up the bandsaw. So um, if you have something like that, no problem. If you don't want to cut them, that's fine. You don't even have to cut them. But I cut mine. Now what we are going to do is we're going to use our trusty hot glue gun. This is my favorite. The link to it is in my Amazon shop. So look in the description box for the link to that. We're going to take our three little trays and glue them to the sticks. And then we're going to spray paint it. So let's get these here. So what I did is I'm gonna take one of these trays and I want it to be at the very bottom, okay? So it can be very sturdy. The whole thing can sit on the flat bottom like that because its bottom is nice and flat all the way across and have a nice sturdy base. So what I did is I just made a little mark here, okay? Because I marked where I want the other trays to go and I just made this little mark here just for my own personal reference. But what we're going to do is we're going to glue this on there and try to get it as straight as possible because when you stand this up you don't want it to wobble back and forth so i'm just going to take a look here as you can see let me hold this up so you can see this paint stir stick here is wide enough so it's going to cover that heart so you don't have to worry about something odd you know showing on the other side or you can put it on the inside like that if you want to i don't want to i want mine to be on the outside so let's see made the mark there so I could kind of sort of see where I need to put the hot glue. Let's put it right there. I'm probably going to make a mess with this glue. I'm reasonably certain it's going to come through there. But let's see. Let's just stick that down and get it centered like so. And then I'm just going to hold that in place for it to harden up a little bit. Now these other marks here these are just marks that I made. I took the trays and just laid them on the stick to, you know, kind of space them out and see about where I want to put them. Um, so that's why those marks are there. All right, I think that'll be fine. <laughs> but now we're going to come up here to the top. Okay, and I just kind of held it in place here. And I want the top of this to be flush with the top of this. Okay, so it's not sticking up. So let's see. You know what? This time, let's just put some glue around here. Now we're going to put this down. I'm going to try my darndest to get it straight and level so that it's not at an angle. Because whatever you set on here, you know, you don't want it to be at an angle and, you know, it, it fall off. All right, so there's that. And then I came to the middle and just kind of held this in place to see about where I want it. And where I put that line there, I like that. So we're going to put that there. You know what? It would have been better had I put the glue on the tray first. 
around the little heart shape on that one, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm probably going to have some seashells on here, and it's going to cover it all up anyway. It don't matter. <laughs> all right. So now we have the other stick, and I'm just going to put some glue here and some glue here. And then some glue here, and then put this on top of it like so. And then I'm going to take it outside, and I'm going to give it probably two coats of the spray paint. Okay? Two coats of the spray paint, and then we'll come back and do a little bit more decorating. so the paint is dry the blue paint is dry and now what we're going to do is just do a little bit of dry brushing with some white paint you know a little extra something something to give it a little bit of depth to make it look a little bit weathered all right so i have i had some paper towels and they went away i don't know where they went <laughs> i had like half a roll of paper towels over here but i'm just going to take some of this white acrylic paint from apple barrel and a dry paint brush. And to do this, let's make sure the brush is clean. I'm just gonna dip it in just the tiniest amount of paint. You don't wanna saturate your brush. You just want a little bit of paint and just very lightly, very, very lightly, just drag the brush over it. See that? You're not really like completely painting over the blue part. And for this, I like using like these stiffer type of brushes. Ah, don't fall down. Okay, you see how the brushes are kind of staggered? They're not like perfectly, perfectly lined up. This is just a, um, let's take a look here. This is just a little brush that I got at Walmart. It's not soft and squishy. And I think that does the dry brushing technique a lot better than the um, soft and squishy brushes. For lack of a better term, you know, the soft and squishy brushes. So I'm just brushing it across like that. And now I'm gonna do that all over this thing, okay? I'm gonna do it on all the sides and down the sides here. Now let's come down here to the bottom. There we go, just like that. All right, so yep, I'm gonna do this all over and then we shall come back. Okay, so this is all painted. You can see the, um, the white dry brushing there. And now we're going to decorate it a little bit with this nautical cotton rope that I got from Dollar Tree. We're going to be using this right here on the middle one and on the top. Now on the bottom we can't because see, you know, it, it's flat. So you can't rock. Blah, blah, blah. English, what is it? You can't wrap the rope <laughs> around here, but it's okay because we're going to do something different here in a minute. Hold on, just dropped it in the floor. Heaven forbid. We're going to do something different down there. So what we are going to do here is fuss at ourselves for not opening this a few minutes ago, but I wanted to show you all the packaging, okay? I wanted to show it to y'all. Okay, so just like the other type of rope they have, the end there is taped. So I'm just going to cut that off. Gosh, this stuff is harder to cut than the other kind. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is looking on the inside, is we're going to glue it to the inside and then wrap it around. And I know that sounds stupid, but give me a minute and I'll explain. So I'm just going to put some of this hot glue here. All right, so let's sand it up. Can y'all see there? I'm just going to stick that kind of like right down there in the middle of that little heart. Okay. And then I'm going to hold that in place and then we're going to wrap it. I hope that glue holds up so that it comes around this way and then around there and then back up okay you're going to get glue all over your finger if you're not gluing your fingers together or getting glitter all over the place are you really crafting so let's kind of get that into place i'm kind of feeling i'm going to cut that right here Okay, then we're going to bring it around and then we're going to put a little bit of glue right there in that heart. Whoopsie doodle. We're going to bump it. I'm sorry. See how I put the glue down in that little heart and then I'm just going to press the end down. 
like so. This thing is kind of tall and sort of awkward um, to show on camera at this point, so I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, now don't worry about the bottom, because like I said, we're gonna do something different here in a minute with the bottom, you know, because we can't put the rope there. But, um, so, yeah, just the way that I did that, I'm gonna do that on the center one, on both sides, and then we're gonna do it on the top one. And then we'll come back and take care of the bottom. Okie doke. You know what? I forgot to put my jewelry back on. But anyway, it's the next day. Okay, it's the next day from when I was filming because I've been busy and I got stuff to do. But um, this is what we have with the ropes. I did it middle and top. Let me pick that up. Lord have mercy. There we go. And then there's the middle. And now let's move this up so we can get, get out of the way so that we can get to the bottom here. Now, these little anchors here, I got these at Walmart. And I painted them, okay? I painted them white. They did not come white like this. I just spray painted them white. I can't remember how much they were. They were like $1.44 or something. They were real cheap, okay? But anyway, I got two of them. So now here at the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them right there. And I know that this is such a bad angle, but you know what? Here in a minute, um, let me just make sure where I'm putting the glue. Okay, but here in a minute... Um, I'm gonna back away and of course I'll take a picture so that y'all can see it better. And you'll see it at the end of the video. You've already seen it at the beginning of the video, but um, I'll put it again at the end so that y'all can see. Let's try to get this up to the top. Cause I have a lot of nautical stuff in my bathroom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this into position and then I'm gonna put some little decorative pieces on it, get it all spruced up and then, um, then y'all can see it. But yeah, there's that. And now let's flip it over and we'll do this other side and then it'll be done. Like I said, hang tight and um, you'll see the whole thing. Okay, so let's flip this and put that there. Okay, there we are. All right, now that is cute. I'm very happy with how this turned out. But anyway, there's that. So um, that's pretty much it. So we have the rope there and then we have our little anchors down here. But um, like I said, let me get it all arranged. Then let me take a photo so that y'all can see what it looks like. Um, and that'll be that. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I'll see y'all next time. All right, so look, this is my little photography setup station. So you're going to see my edges and my backdrop and all kinds of mess, but um, it's okay. It's okay. I don't care. Um, I just want to be able to show you the thing in its entirety because I don't know how the photo is going to show up because it's so tall, you know, and I try to fit the photo, um, you know, into the screen. But anyway, there we go. How cute is that? Anyway, I'll put up a photo too. Hang on.